This is a good old fashioned style Labor budget of high taxes and high spending. In fact, since winning government, the Labor Party has increased government spending by $185 billion, and this is causing inflationary pressures on your budgets. That the government projects a budget surplus is positive, but as most economists will tell you, the credit belongs to industry, not government. And the surplus is a sugar hit expected to last only a year, and then we're back to deficits for as far as the eye can see. The strength of our economy rests on the backs of hard-working Australian families and their businesses in critical sectors like mining, manufacturing, construction and the services sector. The fact is that spending is up and households and businesses are struggling more than ever. The Treasurer tried to blame global inflation and global issues for his government's incompetence, for their indifference and arrogance. The fact is, inflation is high, not because of the Kremlin, but because of Canberra, namely the Albanese Labor government. They're raising spending to mid-COVID levels at 26.5% of GDP to increase welfare. They're slashing crucial services to fund a litany of studies and reviews. They have no plan for cybersecurity, no plan for space, no plan for critical infrastructure like the Bruce Highway upgrades and the passenger rail into Maroochydore, which the government has kicked into the long grass whilst they plan to bring in another one and a half million immigrants over the next five years. They have no plan for teacher recruitment and no plan for the regional healthcare crisis facing communities like Montville. And they have no real plan for economic growth, only to spend, spend, spend. That's Labor's MO, higher spending, higher taxes and lower outcomes. That's why Australians always pay more under Labor. Keep an eye out for events and information about how this budget affects you and get in touch with my office if you have any questions or concerns. We've got a really challenging fight for Fisher ahead of us and I will fight tooth and nail to make sure our community gets a fair go from this federal Labor government.